our group at the Ferrier Research Institute, we make therapeutic vaccines with a focus towards cancer and other diseases. The Breast Cancer Foundation New Zealand funding has allowed us to transfer our existing research knowledge and apply it specifically to breast cancer to help design a treatment that will help patients with breast cancer in New Zealand. The trouble with cancer is that it's just a dysregulation of our own cells and our body struggles to differentiate between a healthy cell that's ours and a cancer cell that's also ours. So our therapeutic vaccines allow our immune system to be trained to recognise these dangerous cancer cells and they can go out and target them, um, destroying all of the cancer and leaving our healthy cells intact. My name's Jenny McDougall. Um, I had breast cancer 10 years ago now. My kids were five and seven years old at the time. I had the standard treatment, which is surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy, um, which is very successful, uh, but it's no picnic. We, we refer to it as slash, poison, and burn. I think it's at the back of everyone's mind. We all know that it's possible it could come back. And we don't think about it all the time, but you always know that's a possibility. My name's Penelope Ryder-Lewis and I'm ambassador for this exciting fundraising campaign. My family doesn't have a great history when it comes to breast cancer. My nana and my nana's sister and my mum all had it and my mum died from it. I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 41. This research is being done right here in New Zealand. We hope there'll be a vaccine to save the lives of New Zealanders. Then a vaccine to save lives around the world. But to do that, we need support. 20 to 30 percent will have their cancer come back, sometimes years later. At that point, doctors can give treatment to prolong life, but there's no cure. So tragically, more than 650 women still die of this disease every year. That's what we need to change, and that's why we partnered with the Ferrier Institute. To get to our vision, we're constantly pushing for new frontiers in early detection, treatment and support. We approached them back in 2016 to discuss a partnership to work towards a therapeutic vaccine for breast cancer. When we met the team and realised the calibre of people in their work, investing $500,000 was one of the easiest and most exciting investment decisions our board has ever made. We're at the point where this partnership is producing hugely valuable intellectual property. We want that to stay in New Zealand and ideally we want local manufacturing of any new drug that results from this work. If I can spare one person what I went through, it's worth it. And if I can spare one person what my mum went through, it's worth it. It would be great for me and my family to know that there's something extra that we could do to have something that's going to help my immune system to fight it if it does come back. Um, that would be really awesome. We're incredibly grateful that the Breast Cancer Foundation of New Zealand has supported us and is continuing to support us. The next thing we need to do is get an approval to run a human clinical trial here in New Zealand and then to run that trial. And that's going to take quite a lot of resource and we're going to need a lot of help from the community to do that.